E-paper notebooks are getting serious upgrades, and Onyx is stepping up with the Books Note Max. Let's break down what makes it stand out and see how it compares to others, like the Kindle Scribe 2024 and the Remarkable Paper Pro. Spoiler, this isn't your average same-same comparison. It's more like apples to oranges. So, back in October, Onyx teased us with the Books Note Max, and now we've got the full scoop. First off, this thing has a huge 13.3-inch E-Ink Carta 1300 display. That's 3200 by 2400 resolution at 300 ppi. For context, the Kindle Scribe 2024 has a 10.2-inch screen, and even the remarkable Paper Pro's 11.8-inch display doesn't match the Note Max in size or resolution. But, and it's a big but, the Note Max doesn't have a front light. So if you're working late, you'll need a desk lamp. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Unlike the Kindle and Remarkable, which use their own custom operating systems, the Books Note Max runs Android 13. Yup, full on Android with access to the Google Play Store. That means you can download apps like Evernote, OneNote, and even Kindle if you want to turn it into a hybrid device. It's pretty much a productivity powerhouse in e-paper form. Under the hood, you've got a 2.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, six gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot though, so you're stuck with the built-in storage. Depending on how app heavy you get, that might feel a bit tight, compared to more traditional e-paper notebooks, where 64 gigs is usually more than enough. Let's talk styluses, or is it styli? Anyway, the remarkable Paper Pro's Marker Plus has to be charged. The Kindle Scribe's stylus is battery free, and the Note Max's might be too, but Onyx hasn't spilled all the details yet. All three devices have great pressure sensitivity and are designed to mimic the feel of writing on paper. So whether you're sketching or jotting down notes, you're covered. Audio is where things get a little more varied. The Books Note Max supports dual speakers, a built-in microphone, and USB-C audio output. No headphone jack though. Meanwhile, the Kindle Scribe sticks to Bluetooth audio and the remarkable Paper Pro, no audio support at all. Just pure focus on writing and drawing. Finally, let's talk price. The Books Note Max comes in at $649.99, including the stylus. That's a chunk more than the Kindle Scribe at $399.99, and even the remarkable Paper Pro at $579. But with Android, a bigger display, and all those extra features, you're getting a lot for your money, if you need it. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the Note Max supports a ton of file types, even image formats and couple of audio formats. Additionally, it's got dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, OTG support, and a 3,700 milliamp hour battery. So what do you think? Is the Books Note Max worth it for its size and features? Or are you sticking with something simpler like the Kindle or Remarkable? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button for more. Peace out.